bookworms, my name is Lindsay, I am the book vlogger, and this is my review for In the Window Room by Stephen Carroll. In the Window Room is a rather short book about a girl who is sent off to like a British boarding school type thing, and she, the book starts off where she gets in trouble and she's sent to live in this house by herself, and it's supposed to be kind of this you know, house where bad things happen. But of course, as she finds out, there's something very magical about this house. As for the yes or no categories, sex, no, gore, no, rape, no, magic, yes, drugs, no, torture, no. For future reviews, if there's a category you'd like me to add to the yes or no checklist, things that you want to know before you get into reading a book, let me know and I'll see if I can squeeze those in. Okay, so let's move on to the star categories. First is romance. Romance is kind of non-existent. There is no romance. It's a This is a juvenile book for very young people. Um, I would say probably preteen. Anybody can read it and enjoy it. I enjoyed it, but there is no romance in it whatsoever. Action, I'm going to give three and a half stars. Now, this doesn't mean that the story isn't exciting. It's definitely exciting, but there aren't a lot of battle scenes. And the one battle scene that is in the book, it's kind of lightly touched upon. It doesn't really go into too much detail about it, you know, like swiping swords and things like like that. So I have to keep the action kind of in the middle, but it's still an exciting story, so please don't misunderstand me there. Pacing gets four stars. Easy. Like I said, the story is short, so he doesn't waste a lot of time with boring stuff or filler. It moves quite quickly from one thing to the next, one sequence to the next. However, there are moments where I kind of wish there had been more time spent on it, like maybe a little bit more of an explanation here or there, maybe a slower pace so that I better understood what was happening. But that was only a few times. It wasn't that big of a deal. Plot also gets four stars. It's not an amazing over-the-top kind of plot. It's basically a short story, and because of that, he doesn't go into this big arcing type theme. One adventure happens, and you kind of go through that adventure. Do you know what's going to happen? Not exactly, but you kind of know the path that it is going to go on because you only have so much space for the story to be written. The plot is good, it's entertaining, it's reminiscent of things from my past, which I'll explain later, but it's good. I enjoyed it. Writing, I'm going to give four and a half stars, and for this, it was kind of difficult for me because it kind of goes against what I would generally say about a book. Normally, I want my writing to be very flowy, to almost be invisible, so that I don't notice the writing, I notice the book and the story instead. Whereas this has quite a bit of flourish, but not poetic kind of flourish. It reminded me a lot of C.S. Lewis and his... Um, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, The Chronicles of Narnia. While I was reading it, all I could do was picture, like, an elderly man who had a story to tell, and he would go off on these little tangents, or he'd put these little side notes in there. And it was entertaining, and it was enjoyable. It did distract from the story at times, and I found myself having to go back and reread a paragraph or two to try and really understand, okay, what is he really trying to say here and kind of ignore some of the side stuff that was going on. But it was very pretty, and this isn't, this book was written specifically to be this way. And I certainly felt like, if I didn't feel like a man, an old man was telling me this story, I felt like I had found a journal and I was reading someone's journal that where they told what had happened in the story. Protagonist meter. Because this is a short novel, it kind of makes it difficult to place the main character. Her name is, I think it's pronounced Delaney or Del. I'm not sure, really. I think I'm going to place her in a fairly good spot near the top. She's not a badass. I mean, she's just a little girl. She can't fight or do anything like that, but she definitely is not afraid to get in there, afraid to mess things up, and she's not afraid of the unknown, and she will push herself to do what needs to be done, and she will stand up for herself. She's definitely a very likable character. I could definitely see her taking sword lessons and things like that in the future. Overall, I'm giving the book four stars. I really did enjoy it. I, it was fun to kind of sit down and read casually. It didn't get too intense. I kind of, I teared up a little bit at the end, I'm not gonna lie. Um, in the end, it's kind of sad. It's a little bit solemn. Um, if you have children, I highly recommend that you read this book to them. The story does bear a very large resemblance to The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. There are talking animals. It's about a young girl who goes to a British boarding school, and I imagined her wearing the British boarding school uniforms, you know, that they always wear. And she ends up going to, well, I better not tell you, but trust me, you'll know when you get there, the... 
the thing that the story is based around is very reminiscent of Narnia and that sort of thing. So it does bear a very striking resemblance to that story. However, it is still a very different story. There is no underlying Christian theme. It's, it's magical, but it's not that magical. But I highly recommend this book if you're looking for something short, something that you can just read and enjoy, something that will remind you of your youth and childhood memories and something that just kind of makes you kind of go, oh, this is good. I enjoyed it. It was fun. I'm hoping that he's going to write more to this series because I kind of like the idea of almost like dime store novels, you know, you kind of get little bits of her adventure as things go along. So I don't know if he's going to. We'll see. Here's hoping. If you're interested in getting a copy of this book, I am hosting a giveaway for the author. He's giving away 10 signed books. Click this banner to check out the video or just go straight to the entry form which is in the video description. 10 people! 10 signed copies, so your odds are very good. If you like this video, here are some videos that I definitely think you should check out. Thumbs up below and share this video to anyone who you think might enjoy this book. Subscribe for more reviews and more giveaways. And also, I love it when you show your love in the comments below. Thanks again, as always, for watching, you guys. Until next time, happy reading.